everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share another inspiration project with you guys. It's finished, so there's no tutorial, um, but it is a uh, kit that you can buy. It is from Photoplay, and it's Folio 4, Photoplay for, Folio 4, and it's in black. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Carla, who is the one who actually completed this album, or Folio, and... Um, let us use it for this inspiration piece. So thank you very much, Carla. So what it's featuring is Midnight Tales, which is eight by eight and is no longer available from Graphic 45. So I wanna let you know that up front. We do have um, Midnight Tales patterns and solids and the chipboard pieces, but also you could use pretty much any paper that you want. So this is, like I said, really supposed to be an inspiration piece. You could buy this folio and use one of the two latest collections, which is Steampunk Spells, and or which has an 8x8 DCE, and or Charmed, which is the latest release from Graphic 45 in the uh, Halloween section. So let's get started. She does these wonderful things where she puts these little half circles and ribbons to indicate to anybody who's you gift it to that that is an interactive component. So right here she's got these... Um, uh, beautiful stamps, double matted with black and orange. And then she's got this ephemera card, which was cut. No, actually, I think it's from, I take that back. I believe this is actually from the 8x8 cover. Here's a nice little piece of chipboard here and here, a little piece of ribbon. There's the side. I think that is adorable, and it is perfect scale for this folio. And then she's got um, a, a double matted uh, die cut image that she did here. And there's just a decorative strip. And if you if you notice, it's a black folio with uh, the orange pattern in solid and then a decorative piece on top. And there is the reverse spine. So, and it feels really good uh, in your hands. Um, it's made of heavy cardstock, but once you put your decorative pieces on after you construct it, it, it feels pretty good in your hands. This is a great little brag book. Okay, it opens to the left, which is what holds everything intact. She's got a couple of magnets here. Here's a small um, ephemera card, and which is the 3x4, and then a decorative piece that she put here. And then it opens to the right and has a pocket. And she um, put this nice insert, added a piece of chipboard here as a tab. And I think she added this notch um, with um, an envelope maker. I don't think it has a notch. Then you've got two little pockets here, which are so adorable, and it reminds me of uh, some of the albums that Ginger Rop used to make um, with these little tags. <clears throat> so you, you can uh, put small photos in here, or you can journal on these. Super cute. Now this opens again to the right. You've got a pocket. So we've got an ephemera card, journaling, and a photo mat. And then again, here's your indicator that this is an inter interactive component, which I think is a great idea. Um, if you gift it to somebody who's not familiar with um, uh, interactive albums. And then here's another indicator that it opens this way. I've got a little tuck spot. And uh, yeah, it looks like this is just here for decorative purposes. And then it opens again this way. So when you look at the centerpiece, you've got these two pockets. And then you've got the centerpiece, another uh, tab here indicating there's an interactive element. She used a circle die cut up here, which I think looks awesome uh, on this space. So you could put a circle photo here. So this was added, not part of the kit. You could also just put a nice four by six photo there and another pocket. So again, this is uh, very, very much thanks to um, Carla Sweet for uh, sharing this album with us so that we could put some more inspiration out there for you guys. Uh, between me being sick and having family here this summer, I'm a little behind on my projects, so we wanted to get you some content to keep you inspired. Um, and again, you could easily substitute this for either the Steampunk Spells DCE 8x8 or the latest collection Charmed uh, 8x8 to make this folio. And of course, you'll have some leftovers. And lastly, I just want to remind you that the folio is Photoplay Folio 4. So the instructions for putting the folio together are actually uh, contained in the package itself. 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this again. Uh, thank you once again to Carla Sweet for supplying us with this inspiration. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon.